Ah, Jen Grant. John! Oh my goodness. How you doing, girl? I'm great. I feel like we're best friends. Me too. <laughs> Jen, the reason why I'm harassing you and <laughs> and I wanted to chat with you again is because I just wanted to tell you, sort of in person, that your album, Champagne Problems, is the number one album on CKUA's top 30 chart this week. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, we think you know so too. I feel like, you know the guy in, um, I feel like this guy kind of, uh, I've th- thought of it several times, but in, in Love Actually, like the old guy who's like, wouldn't it oh, be like yeah. if the one time was this old blah 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 guy who just got the number one the number one christmas single yeah <laughs> the number one wouldn't it be nice if it wasn't some new hot shot but it was some old whatever anyways <laughs> i'm like that's me no well i wouldn't say you're <laughs> an old and whatever by music industry standards <laughs> how did this old mother of two Get to be number one. It's because CKUA is the the best, the best station. Bless, bless. Well, we love you over here, and uh, it's really exciting. And I, I was like, oh, well, I we have to tell her. Well, what it's... if I get number one next week? Does that mean we get to chat next week? Yeah, if you wanna, well, for sure. If your listeners are are listening, and what what we just Don and I want to keep chatting. It's true. It's such a good record, guys, and I can say that because it's a collaboration. <laughs> album let's keep it who wants to support this this old mother of two who barely sleeps <laughs> let's do this guys <laughs> do come on guys okay before i let you go jen grant oh my goodness <laughs> i have a feeling that if we were in the same room it would be a lot of trouble good, good trouble. time yeah um okay <laughs> so i would love to play uh how i loved you Right. Uh, off the album featuring Amy Milliman, oh, Milan, sorry. Um, can you tell our listeners a little bit about the song? Absolutely. I wrote this song with Hannah Georges. Oh. I did. And she also sings on some backing vocals on the record. And it's, uh, it's one of the most, I think it's one of the most uh, just beautiful songs I've ever been part of, part of writing. I mean, I've always loved Hannah and um, I have felt really um, just like kind of emotionally connected to a lot of Hannah's songs. Mm-hmm. And so writing the song together was I, I was hoping to get that energy from from the experience, which mm-hmm. I totally got. Um, Hannah, Hannah was she had sent over, I think, like four at least just like different bits of piano and keyboard stuff. And then I kind of chopped up and made this melody out of those. And then we just oh. worked back and forth on, on the writing of it, and um, and eventually like developed a bridge and stuff. But the song is really about heartbreak, and um, it's about love and longing, and that can be transposed into any different facet of of our lives. Of the, if this is is this like you know, um, someone that a lover, or is it like a lost. A lost friend or a parent or you know so it's it like touches down into like the the turmoil the feelings of mm. turmoil and adoration too and you know having sometimes having someone in your life that you 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 loved so fearlessly and passionately and when that goes away I think a lot of times uh, we're taught or we're told by society that like you know you need to banish that person or you need to mm. forget them and get over it Mm -hmm. and with you know I I, for me I I think I've come to a place to like respect the fact that I don't do that really you know even like old past loves that I've you you know if there was a lot of hurt or pain you know once I love somebody it's forever Mm -hmm. it really is and even or old you know like friendships or business relationships if if things um you know went awry like I I don't want to energetically um, hold things against people. I want to just kind of realize that we're all human beings trying to coexist and trying to figure out our, our feelings and our, our hearts. Um, and then I, I became very 
passionate about wanting this to be a duet with mm-hmm. Hannah. And mm-hmm. Hannah didn't want to do it as a duet. She was like, I really don't think this is a duet. And I was like, okay, please. And then she was like, we're, we're old friends. We're great friends. And I just was like, okay, that's cool. So she sings a bit on it. But at the say, at the moment that that was happening, Amy Milan texted me and said, what do I have to do to sing a song with you? And she wasn't <laughs> talking about this record. She was just talking about whatever. Mm-hmm. And, um, and I love Amy too so much. And, and I was like, and I mentioned to Dan, my partner, who, you know, we co-produced this record together, um, that Amy had messaged. And it just was such a strange occurrence. And we thought Amy Amy would be perfect for that song. And wow. um, Amy sang it. And Amy got so, like, involved in the song and invested emotionally in it. Mm. And Kevin Drew, who also is a collaborator on Champagne Problems, who um, I became close with throughout the pandemic by having phone conversations on walks and stuff in the morning. Yeah. Um, he he just like kind of really fell for that song and then he made a video for it. And Amy, I traveled to Toronto. Me, me and Amy were in this video that Kevin directed and he really like brought together kind of this cool like Toronto wow. indie music. Like, folks, there's people in balaclavas and you can't see who, who they are, but it's like, um, it's uh, it's like Georgia Harbor and Lou Downey. And, and it's like, it was just such a cool experience. And to be guided by him, I I, I, I really hold that in a special place because I just think he's a really fabulous director and somebody who can really rally people together. Mm-hmm. And it really did for that. So that's the song. That's incredible. How I Loved You, Jane Grant. From the number one album on CKUA's top 30 chart this week, Champagne Problems. Jen Grant, you are delightful. And, you are uh, a delight. <laughs> catcher, thank you. Catcher, this weekend at the Calgary Folk Music Festival. And uh, tell her how much you love her when you see her. <laughs> Thanks, Jen.